Hello and welcome gorgeous Taurus. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. You may like to think of a question and by the end of the reading the answer or guidance will be revealed in the cards for you. Let's take a look at your first message. And it's the message of the path. No one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. The path to enlightenment is an endless process. You have to practice diligently and with discipline. Eventually you will become the path itself and fewer struggles and sufferings will come your way. What path are you on at the moment? Taurus, is it the journey that you want to be on? Is it where you envision yourself to be? Or do you need to make some changes? I feel that this card is a prompt for you. And if something doesn't feel right, or it is just plain outright toxic for you, an environment, relationship, or whatever, this is a prompt for you to make changes and make decisions and choices that are in alignment with your heart and your true path. Having gratitude is going to open up abundant blessings for you, Taurus. If you want to turn your life around, try thankfulness. It will change your life mightily. Gratitude is a powerful kindness energy when expressed outwardly by giving thanks for the richness brought to you by other people, their services and contribution. Your gratitude builds and a feeling of kinship that breaks down all illusions of separateness will happen. So it also brings you closer to others. But you will see a beautiful blessing at your door in your life in a real way, a miracle at your door. This can change everything. You know, the gratitude can change everything in your life. Um, you'll start to see it in real life. And so this is a call to action for you, Taurus. It's a call to action. Pure understanding. So we have, we have an understanding that needs to be, needs to be there over the next few weeks. An understanding of, uh, something that's maybe important to you, something internal. It might be an understanding in a relationship, a conversation. But understanding and acceptance is here with this card. The stillness of the heart reflects heaven on earth. As truth unfolds with no strings attached, the heart becomes simple and pure. When you take away the personal stories and fears created by the mind and strip away the toxic emotions of anger, self-doubt, and frustration. You can look at what is happening quite simply as it is. So purifying things, getting back to basics with your thinking, with your understanding of things. Calming the mind, stripping away toxic emotions that may be happening. And then you'll be able to simply look at the situation for what it really is. Renunciation. Give up all ideas about yourself and simply be. There is a great difference between struggling in life and loving life. The practice of renunciation or a voluntary letting go will help you end this struggle and make loving life possible. For when you are not struggling, you can give all you have to love to dream, to be who you truly are, and to everything that you do, you can do it wholeheartedly. Something you're needing to let go of. Yeah, there's something that you're needing that you're holding on to that is not serving you, that is in fact holding you back, that is in fact toxic for you. Personal growth is happening right now. Self-esteem, having confidence in yourself and your decisions in what you're doing this week and in the weeks ahead, holding that conviction internally, 
and that will be expressed externally and things will shift for you and we have personal growth so there's definitely a lot of learning and growth happening right now in your life and if that resonates you will totally understand that there may be an Aquarius in your life of importance your deeper resolve rises so there's an awakening or a strength that I can see bubbling up from beneath um, you're having to maybe call on your intuition or call on your inner knowing because you have you have power there your deep resolve rises yeah believe in yourself and have courage maybe there's an areas in your life of importance so you know there's an awakening to your self-esteem self-worth courage believing in yourself having confidence maybe your confidence is growing through learning maybe there's a libra in your life of importance and it is the energy of love bring peace to your life with your relationships um, and they will flourish so i'm reading this as your there's a there's a relationship that you have with someone who isn't the relationship is not bringing you peace and so if you can bring peace to the relationship as much as you're able to whether it's you know a conversation that you have or whether it's something that you just do by yourself then you will be able to flourish and maybe even the relationship will as well let's take a look at this deck of cards for you between worlds new directions you are moving in a new direction um, something new is on the horizon for you something is finalizing something is beginning and it's going to pull you gently down a new path a path that is right for you going back to the very first card here the path what path are you on because a new direction is showing itself here mindful wisdom create inner harmony so being mindful of being mindful of the present being mindful of your inner needs wants and desires your emotions understanding what they really are so there's a deep reflection i'm seeing here with this card and you will gain wisdom by reflecting and it will create harmony in inner harmony but also circumstances will change because of this as well there is a desire to change there is a desire to move in a new direction here i can see for you awaken spirit you're awakening and you actually have that message here as well awakening so there seems to be an awareness a truth a reveal something is coming to light ground your light and let your show, your soul shine so we have a, a need to ground to the earth so being um, in nature grounding yourself putting your feet on the earth this is all going to be beneficial for you be very practical pragmatic about things um, being very grounded and uh, centered uh, in your decisions and, and in what you're doing day to day over the next few weeks will bring the best result for you and the best outcome the angel of clairsentience which is knowing you have an inner knowing um, when this feeling arises don't dismiss it there is truth in it if you get a get a feeling about something someone don't dismiss it there is truth there the bullying prevention angel so we have a situation where someone might be bullying you talking behind your back there's a negative energy being thrown at you by someone know that you are shielded or protected energetically there might be an awakening or a truth um, that comes out about this as well and the angel of nature now i'm not surprised this card has shown up because the energy of being grounded being in nature this is all very beneficial for you there might be um, 
um, a stronger connection that you have to yourself when you're in nature over the next few weeks. You might find a sacred space in nature. There's something significant about being outdoors. So you can balance yourself um, internally, the chakra system. Um, there might be something you're needing to um, uh, balance the scales with um, in a relationship. I do see that something is out of balance. Something is not something is frustrating you and you're needing to balance your internal energies to help understand or to help resolve a conflict or something going on in a dynamic that you have with someone. Uh, yeah, so this is justice, the scales here, maybe a Libra in your life. There is a need for this in your life in, in some way. There has been an unfairness, something has happened unjustly, and you know, you might be fighting for a cause, fighting for yourself in some way. Um, just be aware that spirit knows the truth. And that, you know, this is a karmic card as well. So karma will come around. So we have the king, the king energy here. Um, this is a, a strength when it comes to your work, when it comes to what you do day to day, what you put your energy into. There's a strength, there's a king energy. So you're confident, which is great to see. Um, there is a there is a strength and a knowingness here um, there, that you have the ability to move forward in a positive way or to take certain action you know this is a leadership card so you know you might be taking leadership in some way maybe it's to do with the justice energy yep so we have strength here um, knowing your strengths and your weaknesses is going to be your superpower this week also you can draw on inner strength if you need to um, it is there Three of Swords, something has upset you. Your heart is broken. It might mean that there's a breakup. You've lost a job. There's lost disappointment. Um, there could be some mean, cruel things said. Conversation went poorly. Something like this. Could be also your thoughts and mind. Um, could be exaggerating a situation. Or, you know, you're thinking over and over again about something very negative. It's affecting you in this way. Now, I see you taking ownership or leadership over this energy, over this situation. You have inner strength you will overcome. Ten of Cups, you will definitely have happiness and the joy that you deserve. There is contentment here with the, the Ten of Cups, especially to do with the family. Hmm. Ten of Swords. So there is an ending that's taking place that needed to shift, that needed to be removed, but it's difficult, you know. Um, there's a difficulty that you're going through and Spirit's aware of this. It might also be, you know, there's a... It's um, two sides to the coin here, you know, the Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups on, you know, to do with this circumstance might be... One side is quite negative, but then there's a positive side to it as well. Um, so I do see the duality here. You might be pulled in different directions. Follow your heart. Go where the joy and the light is. Um, but I am also seeing here that this difficulty challenge, um, you're overcoming that because you're, you know, you've got the leadership card here. You've got the strength card and you ultimately have this beautiful sense of a newness and contentment here. So let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is no. So check in with your heart. See if this answer resonates for your question or not. You can trust your own instincts. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.